Hi, here I have Lenovo V55T Desktop Tower PC. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore the technical specifications, tear it down and upgrade it. For your convenience, the video is divided into chapters. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. This video is possible thanks to our kind sponsor, PCBWay. If you are looking for high quality printed circuit board or assembly, 3D printing or CNC services, visit PCBWay.com. Right now they have a PCBWay 5th PCB design contest which allows you to make your design a reality. Lenovo V55T is advertised as a personal computer that brings desktop productivity you can count on. The technical specifications include a processor up to AMD Ryzen 5. The RAM memory is up to 32GB DDR4. The storage includes options up to 2TB of SATA HDD and up to 512GB PCI Express SSD. However, the particular model that I have here is with Ryzen 3, 3 1200 g cpu 8 gigabytes of ram 256 gigabytes of ssd integrated amd graphics and it comes out of the box with windows 10 pro on the front of the case on top we have a power button to turn on the personal computer below it we have a micro sd card reader on the right side of the card reader we have two audio jacks one is for a microphone and the other one is for headphones. Below we have four USB ports. On top there are two USB 3.1 generation 1 USB ports and below we have a couple of USB 2 ports. There is also a placeholder if you are interested in adding an optical drive. On the back side of the computer at the bottom we have the power supply and the power cord goes in it so that we can turn on the computer. On the top we have a fan. Let's have a closer look at the available connectors and ports on the rear side of the computer. On the top we have audio in, audio out and a mic. There is an HDMI port and a VGA port for connecting a monitor. Below we have an RJ45 connector for inserting an Ethernet cable and connecting this computer to the internet and your local area network. On the back of the computer we also have additional two USB 2 ports. This means that in total on the computer we have six USB ports out of which four are USB 2.0 and two of them are 3.1 generation 1. As promised later on in the video, I'll explain you how to tear down this computer, so here is a preview of the motherboard inside the case. Lenovo is providing pretty good documentation, including Lenovo V55T-15API hardware maintenance manual, which includes details about the system board, which is actually the motherboard. For the upgrades that we're gonna perform in this video, I'm going to use uh, memory slot DIMM2 which is with number 21 on the diagram. Also I'm going to use the SATA 3 connectors, this is with label 10 on the diagram as well as the SATA power connector which is with label 11 on the diagram. Please also note uh, labels 16, 17 and 15 as they might be useful for you if you are planning to perform additional upgrades. These are the PCI Express slots and the M2 slot for the Wi-Fi card. Nowadays desktop PCs are becoming less and less popular probably because more and more people are working remotely and these uh, computers are a typical PC configuration for um, offices. However, it's a very good fit for home use as well. It comes with everything that you need to get started out of the box. Um, here is a box that contains a mouse, a USB mouse and a power cord. And there is another box that contains a Lenovo keyboard. 
actually it is a pretty decent uh, keyboard. Furthermore, this um, computer is provided with Microsoft Windows and although I highly recommend you to get rid of Windows and switch to Linux. If you are a Windows user, you can really just turn it on and start using this PC. Lenovo V55T has a really nice case that is both compact and has enough space for pretty much anything in it. Let's tear it down. All we need is a screwdriver. First of all, make sure the computer is turned off and remove all connected devices and cables. Unlock any locking devices that secure the computer cover. In my case, I don't have any of them. And after that, remove the computer cover as shown in the video. The next step of the teardown is to remove the front bezel. Click on the dedicated mechanical parts as shown in the video to release them. After that, pivot the drive bay assembly upward and downward. That's it and now we have access so that we can upgrade this computer. Although this is a decent computer that works out of the box, I recommend you considering some easy and cheap upgrades to increase its productivity. I'm going to add additional RAM and after that I'm going to add a hard drive and use it as a storage. Additional ideas for useful upgrades of this machine are adding a graphical card to the PCI Express slot and adding a Wi-Fi to the M2 slot. The first upgrade that I'm going to perform is to increase the RAM memory. The Lenovo V55T unit that I have here comes with 8GB of RAM and I have purchased an identical DDR4 RAM which I'm going to insert in the second free RAM slot. The installation of the second RAM module is straightforward and as a result I'll have 16GB of RAM memory. The particular Lenovo V55T unit that I have bought comes with a 256GB SSD drive. This is pretty convenient because it is fast and the operating system is installed on it, but unfortunately it is small size and not enough. Therefore the second upgrade that I'm going to perform is to add a low cost 1TB hard drive. I have purchased 1TB Western Digital Blue SATA hard drive running at 7200 rounds per minute. It's with 64 megabytes of cache and it is 3.5 inch size. Inside the case of Lenovo V55T there is a SATA cable and a power cable for the 3.5 inch storage drive. I'm using the squeezers to uh, release it and after that I'm going to put into to this place the drive and connect it with the two cables to the motherboard. Two SATA 3.0 connectors are present on the motherboard and there is also a SATA power connector. I'm going to use one of the SATA 3.0 connectors and the SATA power connectors in order to install the hard drive. That's all for the moment, later on I'll add some screws to fasten tightly the hard drive to the case. I'm done with the upgrade so I can close the cover of Lenovo V55T. Now it's finally time to turn on the computer and try it out. Let's connect all peripheral devices. First of all we need the power cord, um, after that I'm plugging an Ethernet cable which will help me connect the computer to my local area network and from there to the internet. I'm using an HDMI cable to connect the computer to a monitor and of course I need a mouse and a keyboard. Press the power button to turn on the computer and after that very quickly and repeatedly tap the F1 key on the keyboard to enter the BIOS. Now let's have a look at the system summary. The first thing that I would like to inspect and verify is that the installed memory, in this case I'm talking about the RAM memory, is 16 gigabytes. The second thing is to verify that the SATA hard drive that I've installed has been recognized and here it is. It's reported as a hard drive Western Digital uh, with the serial number. Everything looks good, our upgrade is obviously successful and since I am in the BIOS I can have a quick look and browse through the menus. 
on the first boot after the upgrade once the operating system loads I will need to format the hard drive in order to start using it. This is the last section of the video and it's time for conclusions. This Lenovo V55T is a pretty nice computer, especially if you find it for a good price. This type of computers are useful for home and office work. Definitely not useful for gaming unless you upgrade it by adding a graphical card and more RAM memory. Obviously, the trend is that more uh, people are moving towards laptops and mobile devices. Uh, the com personal computers are becoming smaller and smaller, uh, just like the Intel Nooks or Apple Mac Minis. So probably in future we're gonna see less and less tower PCs, but I really like this type of devices because they have enough space in the case to allow you doing some upgrades. The advantage of this computer is obviously that it has a um, um, very good quality. Lenovo is a very well-known manufacturer. I'm using a Lenovo laptop as well. Um, another advantage is the compact tower size, which still leaves you some space to add um, hard drives, um, graphical cards, and so on inside. The disadvantage is obviously that it is not a very powerful computer, but um, if you are considering to buy something like this for home or office use, it's a good choice. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.